Okay, so I have a new piece of fuel line. This is slightly fatter on the outside diameter than the original was. It's the same uh, replacement I used on the EM2, I believe, uh, when that fuel line split. Uh, so unfortunately that means that there is rubbing on this lot linkage again just because that fuel line is fatter. Uh, and I don't know how to reshape this linkage to stop it from rubbing, so I'm going to just see if we can get the um, uh, T1, T26 running without uh, worrying about the throttle response right now and see if it will idle for a while. Uh, I'm hoping that this long line then doesn't uh, result in any kinks or remember when I put it on the short run it was touching the engine too closely and it was boiling fuel in the line and causing issues so uh, but yeah we'll see if we can get it to run straight through a tank of fuel without any issues on this new piece of line Ignition on. Leave the needle shut entirely. Yeah, and the needle doesn't close entirely, so. see there's a bit of oil squirting out from around the uh, spark plug so I'm going to loosen that and then retighten it and see if that washer moves but you know it's threaded in a brass so you can't crank on those threads too tight or it'll just strip them out Remember to flick the ignition back on. Right? Barely opening. See, and this needle doesn't even feel like it's open yet. That's how that's how little it's moving. See how that goes because uh, it's obviously at the very leanest, and as it warms up, it should pick up. Oh, and as soon as I move the camera. Flooding already. Yeah, 
that's definitely too rich. Adjust the throttle just a teeny bit further open, get a little more air in. like that for a bit. 